Hi everyone, I'm Kate Hartfield and I'm going to read from my novel, The Embroidered Book, uh, which is about Marie Antoinette of France. I'm going to read a little bit from the middle, but no spoilers. What Antoinette likes best about the exterior of the Chateau of Versailles is not the sensuous grey stonework, or the red brick that glows like the cheeks of a freshly scrubbed schoolboy, or even the golden fleur-de-lis that rise from the railings against the azure sky. No, what she likes best are the windows. Sometimes they are as dark as deep water. Sometimes, at a certain angle, they shine in jagged white, reminding Antoinette of the sugar on a slice of googlehoof the cake Papa used to love. And sometimes, like now, the sun glazes them golden, opaque, like the top of a linzer tort. It makes her smile. Out in the royal courtyard, little knots of people walk in the gentle sun of an early May morning. And her coach is waiting. It's robin's egg panels painted with mythological scenes and four white horses ready to go visiting. On a day like today, she cannot believe that Prince Louis de Rohan or anyone else wishes her harm. He's gone to England anyway. Everything may not be for the best in the best of all possible worlds. Her marriage is unconsummated and Mama is always disappointed in her. But the sun shines on Versailles. Antoinette lifts one sage silk shoe to step into her coach. When one of the four horses snorts and the other stamps, another coach comes rattling past, passes by Antoinette's, and then rolls to a stop. It shines in black and gold, the horses roan in bay, their coats glossy. The footman opens the door, and out comes the Comtesse de Berry, in a dark green polonaise, with a berger straw hat tilted down over her face. When she turns her gaze on Antoinette, it looks wide-eyed and dazed, rather than, as is usual, studiously blank. The king is dying, she says. Antoinette steps back down to the grey stones of the courtyard. The king has been ill with smallpox for more than a week, but everyone said he was improving. Surely he has sent me away so he can confess all his sins without the little additional sin of me on his conscience. Oh, I know, he did that with another mistress once, but this time I think he won't recover and I won't return. May God help him, Antoinette prays. But what will happen if the king dies, now, today? The Dauphin, he's in his foundry. They'll send someone to tell him, now that I'm out of the way. Antoinette doesn't know what to say. His Majesty's love for you. Ha! the Comtesse interrupts, staring at something invisible just over Antoinette's shoulder. Ha! For Louis, love flowed one way like taxes. He collected as much as he could, from as many as he could, and he's still dying bankrupt. Thank you very much.